Hello and welcome back to Hyperstone Quest. Today we are going to be taking on the desert, and I noticed something pretty intimidating here. Only one person has ever gotten an average of 50 points across their entire 10 runs in the desert. So this is going to be maybe even a bigger challenge than the Living Cave. Now it does kind of make sense because there are a lot of obstacles. The first one is the really high spawn rate in the desert. Once you start getting your treasures up, the desert men are everywhere. And then on top of that, um, the sandworms really limit your options. They can make things really crowded. And then these, uh, these dunes are going to be causing some problems because they're kind of like icy walls. They're kind of just everywhere and limiting your options, but they don't melt. And so you can't remove them. You can't get through them, but they're going to create choke points. They're going to create dead ends. I'm hoping we can use them tactically as well. We can um, scrape alongside of them in order to get desert men to line up and uh, we can maybe dodge around them. But the main thing is they're just going to get in our way. Now, we do have some advantages. One is that the Orb of Shielding is one of the most powerful orbs in the game. Um, it's very short-lasting, but it makes you completely invulnerable for several turns, which is super good. The other thing is these thumpers. Uh, thumpers are going to be really useful because they basically create barriers. Anything that is closer to the thumper than it is to you is going to chase after the thumper and ignore you, and so you can actually create these barriers. Now, with this Orb of Shielding, this is going to be really useful, and uh, I think I can pull off a trick here. If we can get this Sandworm down, ooh, that Desert Man might block. Yes, okay, so here we can get it to come down here, and because of the Orb of Shielding, uh, it's just going to explode like that. It doesn't give very many treasures when you do that. It's, um, it's a little bit disappointing because it takes a bit of work to set up. But uh, it is it is fun. It is kind of a, a little bit of a thrill when you can get to do that. Now, I would really like to get to that thumper, but oh geez. Oh, that is game over. Wow, okay, the desert is really tough. But it's quick. That was only three minutes, so I think we can give this a few tries. But oh boy, I'm going to need something new here. I'm going to need to figure something out. Now, I'm wondering if I should farm Desert Man? Kills? Because that would make the treasure spawn rate... The, the treasure spawn rate's already so high. Um, I don't think... Oh, that did not work out how I thought it would. I'm not sure what I thought would happen there. Oop, that's game over. So it's like, it starts out easy, like the first ten treasures are easy. And then there's kind of a, a break point where things just go way over the top. And so I need to be paying a little more attention to that. But I can be playing this beginning part faster in order to get more attempt. Oh, nope, that's game over. Okay, maybe playing faster is not strats. The desert is hard. It's, you know, it. I kind of underestimate it because if you play carefully, um, like in a, in a casual playthrough, the desert is not really threatening. You can get to 10 treasures pretty quickly. It's easy to dip. 
And um, if you're, you know, if you're just running at ten treasures, you're you're actually gonna be okay. But uh, as soon as you get like up around twenty treasures, maybe not even that. Uh, things get pretty hairy because you get so much more combat. And I think that thumpers are really vital. Really need to be paying attention. I really need to be moving so slowly at this point. I really want this orb of shielding. All right. This is a little bit of an insurance policy now, and a little bit of uh, added flexibility. Not going to be able to trap this guy, but that one's going to get trapped, and it's going to explode, and we can... Ooh, that was a mistake. All right, managed to sneak out of there. I almost trapped myself trying to go for those treasures. Let's not do that. All right, 30. Boy, there is a sandworm spawning on pretty much every f turn at this point. And all of a sudden, I'm kind of not able to chase after treasures. You know, this does increase the likelihood of an explosion, but I don't think there's going to be enough explosions to actually, like, go in and collect stuff. Alright, this thumper should block off a bunch of stuff, so maybe that will make me... Nope! Oh boy! Okay, that's game over. I feel like thumper placement... You know, may have more subtlety to it than I think. Like, if I put it right there, that'll block off that entire area. Um, which is not super useful because there's nothing down there. But that's the kind of thing that I want to be paying more attention to. And I think I actually want to be moving towards thumpers a lot more than I am. Uh, I think I should actually be navigating by thumper. As much as I can. Orb of shielding is, is still... Um, Really super, super desirable. So, you know, I, I will go for that over a thumper if I see it. You know, maybe noticing orbs of uh, shielding when they're, when they're on the table is another good thing. So here, instead of routing to that treasure, I'm going to route to this thumper. Because it really does seem like that is the kind of thing that I'm going to have to be paying attention to. And you see how much stuff I managed to trap that way. So once again, cluster of treasures down here, but thumper over this way. Ooh, that thumper is actually not reachable. So I am going to head back towards this cluster. Oh, and that is game over. This is so hard. But hey, hey, this is what I wanted. This is the grind. This is the kind of grind I wanted. And there's there's going to be some, like, deep insights that I'm going to need to have. Uh, it's not going to be something that I can just grind the way I would grind a platformer. But this is this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. I really, really love 
the um, you know when it when a game has a challenge that it really takes a lot of time. Um, I think there's something really chill about grinding. Uh, grinding on Twitch is one of my favorite things to watch. You know, somebody playing like a super hard Kaizo level. You know, spending like 10 or 20 hours trying to clear a single level. Love that. You often get good conversations. And it's just, it's kind of nice and calm. It's just a pleasant experience in a way that I'm not sure I can entirely describe. No room to push the thumper. Oh dear. Well, that thumper over there did a whole lot of work. So I appreciate that. Do I see a thumper on screen? Anywhere? Oh, way over this way. I wonder if I can do that. Oh yeah, this is this is totally doable. We're not even at 25 and I'm already like routing and strategizing. And here's the next one. Boop. And then over to this one, boop. And we can kind of take this one along a little ways, since there's not really anything after us right now. Um, these don't last forever, but that actually, that creates an impassable barrier. Um, I want to see if I can get this shielding. I could have! You can step onto an orb of shielding even if it would get you killed because the orb activates. I should- I could have done that. And I just didn't. Just gonna move past this one. Ooh, that sandworm explosion! I believe actually destroyed my thumper. Oh, we are so close. Thought maybe I saw like a thumper or something, but no. Oh, there's an orb of safe uh, shielding. Uh, I keep calling them sa uh, safety, but it's it's shielding. And okay, that was that was a pretty good tactical play. Uh, I figured out how to step so that the sandworm would let me get to that orb of shielding. And let's see if we can turn this orb of shielding into our fiftieth treasure. There we go. All right. How much gravy can we get? Oh, that is not very much gravy. Okay. Well, we got it once. So in one, two, three, four, five, six attempts, uh, we got the goal once. So uh, this is going to take some practice. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, next time we'll probably either try to unlock the hunting ground or head into the land of eternal motion. Um, I do want to, one thing I actually want to be mindful of is if we go down this list, just straight down this list, then, you know, when we get down to the bottom of this list and go back to the top, it's very possible that I will have forgotten how to play some of the lands up here. And so I do want to kind of go back and forth, up and down this list. We're not going to go straight down it. Much thanks to the sponsors of this week's video. Um, sponsors on Patreon get early access to videos, and they get to see a lot of work-in-progress stuff, 
and stuff that may or may not ever make it to the light of day. And uh, it's, it's really helpful to me. And uh, thank you also to everyone who likes, shares, subscribes, comments. Your encouragement means everything to me. So until next time, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.